Louis Latimer's fascinating story actually begins with his parents, George and Rebecca Latimer. Uh, they were slaves in Norfolk, Virginia, and in the fall of uh, 1842, they stowed away on a ship and sailed from Norfolk to Baltimore. George's former slave owner posted a reward notice uh, for his recapture. Abolitionists like uh, Frederick Douglass and William Lloyd Garrison rallied around George's cause and it became a real cause celebre, one of the very first fugitive slave cases uh, in Boston. Mind you, this is 1842. So if Lewis Latimer's parents, George and Rebecca Latimer, had not had the courage to escape and flee to freedom in Massachusetts, the Lewis Latimer we know, the great inventor, would never have had an opportunity to make the kinds of contributions to our society that he did. The Lewis Latimer House Museum is a historical space where Lewis Latimer lived in the early 1920s. In a sense, this place is almost like a time capsule, and here we bring forth a STEAM uh, curriculum, which is science, technology, engineering, art, and math and we get to touch on everything that Lewis Latimer did, teach the community about all of his contributions to the scientific um, industry. The Lewis Latimer House wasn't always here in the community. In fact, it was facing the threat of demolition back in the 1980s. So Lewis Latimer's granddaughter, along with her brother Gerald, and other members of the community fought to preserve the house. They were able to move the house from its original location at Holly Avenue to our current location here at Levitt Street. Lewis Latimer was born in 1848, uh, six years after his parents arrived in Boston, and he was the youngest of their four children. Although he was a very, very bright and brilliant young man, he never got beyond grade school. Lewis Latimer was a self-taught engineer, was a self-taught draftsman, was a self-taught artist. He taught himself everything that he knew, and students are always very surprised by that because usually they're like, wait, he didn't go to college, he didn't get any training. He had to survive through a white dominant work environment, and he wrote about that in his personal journals. He taught himself um, many skills, including pattern drawing, and a lot of these skills are still used today. So that is actually what we teach in our field trips as well. We hope that students can come not only inspired by what's happened in the past, but that they can actually contribute and, and build that part of the future. In 1879, Lewis uh, joined Hiram Maxim, who was a very prolific inventor and who was with a company called the U.S. Electric Lighting Company. And about a year later, Thomas Edison um, the celebrated inventor uh, got the first patent for an incandescent light bulb in the United States. And Lewis Latimer patented a carbon filament for the light bulb, which prolonged its durability and life and made it more cost efficient and practical for everyday use by ordinary citizens. People don't even know that not only did Lewis Latimer create a carbon filament light bulb, he also created bathrooms on railroad train cars. He created locks that locked your personal items. He created one of the first air conditioning cooling systems. By 1918, Lewis had achieved such a claim that he became one of the charter members and the only black member of the esteemed Edison pioneers. So he was a major, major player in the technological revolution a truly great man. We also have information to hear about Frederick Douglass and the relationship that he had with Louis Latimer and his father, George Latimer. Um, but it's, it's a hub of learning about history, but also a hub to learn about how we are taking uh, electricity and what we will do with it in the future. He was an author. He wrote a celebrated book called Incandescent Electric Lighting which became the Bible for electrical engineers uh, everywhere. He was a trailblazer in demonstrating that people who are traditionally excluded, at that time African Americans, um, from opportunity could contribute and create, accomplish and excel like anybody else when they're, they're given an opportunity. So in many ways, he paved the way for minorities and women, members of the LGBT community, and anyone else who has been excluded based on their race or status. We think that every American uh, during Black History Month and throughout the year should think of and thank Louis Latimer every time we switch on the lights.